Christ is us in our own imagination. Now think about that. Christ is us in our own imagination. And look what Christ did when he was on earth. The joy he brought forward, the teachings he brought forward, the peace, the healing, right? He brought people out of demonic states back into the kingdom of God, into these original states of peace where they were no more torment. Hello, and thank you for joining me in these wonderful videos. So what we have started is we just started Neville Goddard's Awakened Imagination. And we know that our imaginations create wonderful worlds, create wonderful jobs, create wonderful great opportunities. And so that's why we're digging in. Very uplifting words. So we're going to just start off like we always do with our prayer for the world. Okay, we're holding just the whole world. All right. So are you ready? Just grab the state, whether it's joy, peace, provision, abundance, whatever it is. Grab that state and go to it. And then let's lift up the world in prayer. So here we go. Ready? Give them to God, for God cares for us. Okay, so are you ready? We are going to pick up where we left off. Now, we left with this beautiful phrase, imagination is the very gateway of reality. So think about it. Your imagination is the very gateway of reality. So what kind of reality are you opening the gateway to with your imagination? Good question to be asking because since we're all here getting ready to pop open our dreams goals visions purposes and acts of service we're not just meditating on it we're taking action right so our imagination is the gateway of reality as Neville says okay so moving on man said Blake is either the ark of God or a phantom of the earth and of the water Naturally, he is only a natural organ, subject to sense. The eternal body of man is the imagination, and that is God himself, the divine body. Yad Shin Ayin, from left, from right to left. Okay, that's beautiful. The eternal body of man, because we never die, the eternal body of man is the imagination, that is God himself. The divine body, Yad Shin Ayin, from right to left. Jesus, we are his members. So this is what Blake said. I know of no greater or truer definitions of the imagination than that of Blake. So we all know that Neville had this love affair with Blake's writing. And, his, and it appears his art as well. So by imagination, we have the power to be anything we desire to be. Did you hear that? By imagination, you have the power to be anything you desire to be. So what is that? And what steps are you taking to make it happen? I, through imagination, okay, this is big, through imagination, we disarm and transform the violence of world. Our most intimate as well as our most casual relationships become imaginative as we awaken to the mystery hid from the ages. Colossians 1:26. Neville loved his Bible. 
that Christ is us in our own imagination. Now think about that. Christ is us in our own imagination. And look what Christ did when he was on earth. The joy he brought forward, the teachings he brought forward, the peace, the healing, right? He brought people out of demonic states back into the kingdom of God, into these original states of peace where they were no more torment. So we are just looking at that and we are just so grateful that we have Christ within us, in our imaginations, to be dreaming up and imagining the very best conditions, the very best world, the very best things with our dreams, goals, visions, purposes, acts of service, because we're all here to do something. So it's not just to sit around, we're here to do something, so we're taking action. Okay, when we then realize that only as we live by imagination can we truly be said to live at all, Woo! Okay, so Neville's saying without an imagination, you're not living. Now, you know what? Think about it when you've been places where you're in a group and it's kind of like everybody's flat and there's no energy. And you kind of can see the, the spark of life is not burning in there. You can see there's no joy, but what you also can see is there's no imagination. Where there's imagination, there's wonderful food, there's wonderful festivities, there's an amazing com um, communications and goals and dreams and things happening, right? It's a hub of energy. So we then realize that only as we live by imagination can we truly said we live it all. And when I think about my imagination, there is just the best feelings in there. There is joy, there is curiosity, there is wonder, there is a massive amount of energy. So I want this book, okay, here's Neville. I want this book, Awakened Imagination, to be the simplest, clearest, frankest work. I have the power to make it, that I may encourage you to function imaginatively, that you may open your immortal eyes inward into the worlds of thought, William Blake, where you behold every desire of your heart as a ripe grain, white or ready to harvest. John 4, 35. Wow, that's, you know, I can see why he loved William Blake so much because his writing is just, it's very, um, it kind of like strums your heart, right? Like a harp. So Neville, a lot of times, wants his work to be simple, clear, and frank. So he says this again, I want this book to be simple, clear, frank. I have the power to make it so. I want to encourage you. So this whole book, I mean, in the title says it, Awaken Imagination. He wants to encourage us to function imaginatively. So let's do it. And that you may open your immortal eyes inward into the worlds of thought, William Blake, where you behold every desire of your heart as ripe grain, white already to harvest. John 4, 35. So, I am come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. John 10, 10. The abundant life that Christ promised us is ours to experience now. When? Now. But not until we have the sense of Christ as our imagination can we experience it right because this abundant life a lot of times when you get stuck in 3d or limiting things what is the thing that busts it open for you into abundance in the promised land it's that imagination okay so neville is encouraging us to use our imaginations to the fullest so the mystery hid from the ages christ in you the hope of glory, Colossians 1, 26 and 27, is your imagination. I mean, just reading this book to you and with commentary, can you feel that? The mystery hid from the ages is Christ is in you. The hope of glory, and it is your 
imagination. And so you can see why Neville would write and commit a whole book to this, but he committed more than just this book, but we're, we're focusing on this right now. And this is the mystery which I am ever striving to realize more keenly myself and to urge upon others. Neville says, imagination is our redeemer, the Lord from heaven, born of man, not begotten of man. The Nicene Constantinopolitan Creed, or the symbol of faith, 325-381 AD. Okay, imagination is our redeemer, the Lord of heaven, born of man, but not begotten of man. So Neville, every man is Mary, and birth to Christ must give. So he keeps telling us, he's encouraging us, that we want to unlock the mystery of Christ within, which is our own imagination. And in this beautiful imagination, we can create anything. And since we are higher order creators, positive order creators, we are going to take the baton from Neville and we are going to imagine the very best world. That's when we're doing our prayers. We are lifting up the world and part of that is our imagination. We are imagining abundance. We are imagining imagining food. We are imagining uh, people coming to help. We are imagining peace coming in, right? And we're going to hold that space. Okay, so every man is Mary and birth to Christ must give. All right, so we're going to stop there. We're going to see you tomorrow for another video. I want to thank you very much for joining me as we continue to build. Just We're just doing very slow crawls through Neville's books to kind of glean some of the beautiful things. And you know, it's like when a passage pours over your heart, over your mind, it things go in and they're literally cleaning and debriding away maybe the blocks to your imagination or a block to your dream or your goal or your purpose so when you're just letting these gentle words pour over you but there's something in there that you're always going to be grasping so i want to thank you for popping in and listening to the video and i want to be wishing you all the very best and i want you to know i'm going to be praying for each and every one of you each and every one of you are here on purpose for a purpose and we want to figure that out we want to walk boldly in the directions of our dreams goals visions purposes and acts of service we are not placeholders we are here on purpose for a purpose and we're going to be taking these skills large and in charge into the daily world to uplift all of humanity so thanks for joining me i want to also thank you very much for your subscriptions your likes and your positive comments i'm just so grateful for all my subscribers and the support that you've given me as i continue to build my platform and I learn more about being on YouTube, making videos and the direction I'm going to ultimately be driving my business in. So thank you so much for supporting me and may you be an in and at peace. See you tomorrow.